Installing the double vertical rod holders on your stabilizer bar can be a little tricky to get everything aligned right. So I've set up a system here um, that I'll walk through and show you how to do it in a way that uh, makes it a lot easier to get everything right. So what I've got is a stabilizer bar that I've uh, put on a little stand I made. And then I've got a pair of my double vertical rod holders. I'm going to install the port side rod holder. The process for the starboard side is identical. Um, so what we're going to start off with is what you're receiving. So you will get two tubes that look like this. They come with the clamps to a clamp to the stabilizer bar attached. Uh, and that's your starting point. They're labeled starboard side front. Uh, so that would go over there on that one. Uh, this is the port side of the boat, and the bow is up that way. Uh, this is labeled port side front. And so the first step is simply to uh, remove the screws on the hinges. Okay, and that allows these to open up. <clears throat> now, I've preset this so that when these are closed, like so, like imagine they were clamped onto the stabilizer bar, uh, and if you look down, uh, this set of holes and this set of holes kind of align. So that would be the holes on this side for one tube and the holes on the other. So it kind of looks like they're straight up and down. You'll notice that the holes for the stabilizer bar are offset, and that's to take care of the slope that's on the stabilizer bar. That's the whole point of these. So what you do is you open these up, and you'll notice that they open on opposite sides. So one of these uh, is hinged on one side of the stabilizer bar and the other is hinged on the other side of the stabilizer bar. So then you just go ahead and, and get it on the stabilizer bar like so and arrange it so that this guy is in front. Don't worry too much about where the slot is. We can fix the slot. We can fix all kinds of little details later. The main thing is to get the clamps and the tubes in the right place. So this is the first step. One of the things to look for here uh, after installing just this one tube on the on the stabilizer bar is whether it actually is vertical or not and I've tried to align the camera up correctly and it's showing that the uh, tube is just a little bit outboard of vertical so you can kind of rotate things a little bit yeah there we go um, and then I'll press it back closed again and, and get it a little closer to vertical you'll make a final adjustment on that in just a minute so uh, don't worry about it too much, but uh, try to try to get it reasonably close to vertical. Uh, so I rotated the stabilizer bar around a little bit to give a little bit better view. Uh, the next step is to uh, take one of the plain tubes you have, and with the slot aimed pretty much towards the back, uh, ins insert it uh, in. And it's not going to line up just right initially. So you, again, this is where some of the fiddling comes into place. Uh, I think what I've got to do is loosen things up on this. I'm going to loosen this rod holder on the front just a little bit so it has, has some room to kind of give and give me a better rotation. Uh, look. So I've loosened up the clamps on both the top and the bottom on the front. So I can rotate things better. The, the rubber really grips things very securely. It makes it a little bit difficult to get this right. Okay, there I feel like I've got it four and a half now. So let's see what it looks like through the camera for you. Yeah, so we're pretty vertical. And uh, one's lined up pretty much in front of the other. And now what I'm going to do is rotate the clamp. I'm sorry, the slot on this one to get it where I need it. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, tighten down. I'm going to start tightening the hinge, the hinge portion in the middle. So I put in a screw on this side, and initially it'll be a bit of a reach to get it to close and engage the nut. Okay, so I've got that one started. And I'm going to start the one on the other side. Okay. Now I'm not I'm not tightening this down super hard. I just I just took it to where things had gripped. I want to keep checking things as I go. 
when I look at this now, um, things look, uh, I've got to get this oriented right. Okay, now the rod holders look very vertical. I do now have these located, the slots located on the front facing forward and on the rear facing towards the stern. Uh, so everything is actually pretty much uh, in place where it belongs. The distance from this lip to this lip is designed to be three and three quarters inches. When you receive this from me, it will be a preset to three and three quarters in, uh, inches. So don't move it very far from there while you're adjusting things. Uh, that's important because of the, it, it, that's what's adapting to the slope. You'll notice here where I put this thing in terms of height. Uh, it's got to be on a straight part of the stabilizer bar ahead of this curve. You probably want to get it as high as you can get it while, while the stabilizer bar is still straight to leave room for your rod butts underneath. Your rod butt will, will clear this uh, the lower part and it will clear the brace on the inside. Uh, so that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start tightening everything down. And I want to stress, do not over tighten, tighten things. The, the, uh, the, you only need it tightened so that this doesn't rotate much. So that's a little bit loose. So I'll tighten up the rod holder portions right now. Okay. Now I haven't done, I haven't done much at all. Okay. In, in terms of applying much force to that screw when I turned it. And, and now it won't rotate. So I don't need to tighten it any further. That's one issue with 3D printed stuff. You always want to not over tighten. Uh, so now I'm going to tighten the clamps on the um, stabilizer bar. And again, those rubber inserts uh, in the side of these stabilizer bar clamps, and they grip the stabilizer bar really securely. And what you want, all you want to do is tighten it enough so that you can't rotate the entire rod holder on the clamp anymore. Um, and again, it didn't take much at all. And now I'll just tighten up the uh, back one. Okay, and get the lower one. Okay, so that's one properly installed pair of double vertical rod holders for the port side. Now the starboard side, as I said, uh, is labeled front as well. Now you may have only purchased uh, one, one set from me and uh, you may not know which side you want it to go on. So it's going to come to you labeled uh, for the starboard side being the front. And if you want to put it on the port side instead, simply make the part with the tape be on the back. Okay, so where it says starboard side front, that would correspond to port side back. And the reason for that is the stabilizer bar slopes inward. So it's exactly the same process, just put the tape on the back instead of on the front. So the tape will, label, will be labeled for starboard side front, if you want it on the port side, put that tape on the back instead of on the front. And that's the entire process. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy these rod holders. After uh, <coughs> shooting the video, a few things occurred to me that I really ought to mention. Um, first off, you'll notice there's a logo on each one of these clamps. The logo always reads up. So if you find one of these with the logo reading upside down, it's installed wrong. Secondly, on each one of them, on this face over here where the screw is that closes the hinge on the uh, stabilizer bar clamp, you'll find a letter. It's either L or U. That stands for upper or lower. And then an arrow pointing up. And so the, the piece wants to be installed in the proper position, in this case upper, with this arrow pointing upward. Uh, you'll notice here on, uh, on this stabilizer bar setup, again, this is the port side. The hinge on the lower one is on the inside of the boat. And the screw that closes the hinge is on the outside. That's true on both sides. The, the hinge pin on the lower piece is on the inside of the boat. On the upper unit, on the upper clamp, the hinge piece is on the outer side of the boat. And the screw is on the inner side of the boat. It's just exactly the opposite of the one down here. Uh, so if you ever have to take these apart completely and get them all screwed up, that's how they start going back together. They're labeled up, upper and lower with the L and the U. And then the hinge pin on the lower goes on the inside of the boat and the hinge pin on the um, upper unit goes on the outside edge of the boat.
whether it's on the port or the starboard side. You can use inside and outside. Um, this distance of three and a half inches was set depending on the angle that the stabilizer bar slopes in. I think these stabilizer bars are a little bit different from boat to boat. And if you find that you have a great deal of difficulty getting it as vertical as you want it, you can try changing this distance a little bit. And if you move it larger, that will tend to draw the rods in a little bit. If you make it smaller, it'll tend to push them out. Um, the rod needs to go through the clamp at the right angle. And so the more you deviate from uh, my design angle, the harder it'll be to get this to close. Uh, inside the clamp, there are two, there's a rubber insert on each side. These rubber inserts are stuck there with double sticky back tape. Uh, they, they tend not to fall out. They can move on you when you're trying to adjust things because they're also grabbing the stabilizer bar. So you want to make sure and check that they didn't move, that they're still in their little sockets uh, inside this clamp. These little rubber inserts are essential to this rod holder working properly. The stabilizer bar is so slick it's almost impossible to grip and this rubber does the trick. So those are the few things I wanted to point out. Uh, if you get lost, uh, this was all just a reference for exactly how things go back together on this.